Hey gang, once you dehaze your screens, you can put it on the screen rack and dry, or you can prep it for emulsion by degreasing the screen and adding the emulsion to the screen. As always, we're gonna apron up. Let's go. After we dehaze our screens, this screen rack might get loaded with a ton of screens. We're about to put some wet emulsion coated screens in here. So I'm going to clear this out real quick. This rack is for wet screens only. Since these screens are clean and dry, I can stack them above. All right, the first step to coating a screen with emulsion is take a perfectly clean, dry screen and bring it in the rack. Remember, after we dehaze the screen, we could go right to emulsion if we're ready to expose another image. So I'm gonna take this clean, dry screen and put it in our washout booth. So the first step to coating a screen with emulsion is degreasing it. These, some of these screens have been sitting on the rack for a while and we don't know who's touched them. There's oil on our fingers. We want to be have this screen be as clean as possible. So what I like to do, is I like to get the screen a little bit wet, all right? We're going to take our degreasing solvent, number three up here, and our cleanest brush, and we're going to spray it thoroughly on both sides. Remember not to touch the screen after this. All right. With our cleanest scrub brush, we're gonna scrub both sides. Remember to put our brushes back, brush side up. We're gonna power wash this now. Now this screen is perfectly clean and ready for emulsion. This is our emulsion coating table, but as you can see, there's stuff on it. Sometimes my students use this table to sand or glue up. All right, so we want to get this table nice and clean. Right. We can use a rag to get any dust and debris off of this table. Yes, this table looks pretty dirty, and that's okay. We just don't want any dust or debris to get underneath our emulsion. So I'm going to spray with just a little bit of water. The water can is right here, and I'm just going to... Make sure there's nothing on it. Once my table is nice and clean, I'm gonna go here into the cabinet and I'm gonna grab some Easy 50 orange capillary film. This is a sheet of emulsion. It's in a light sensitive bag and in a cabinet in a light sensitive room, this stuff is extremely sensitive to light. And I'm gonna make sure I take one sheet out. This stuff kind of sticks together so there's one sheet here. You'll notice one side has got this white plasticky film and one side of this is the emulsion. I like to think of it as this is the gum wrapper side, this is the gum side. We want the gum side up so we want the emulsion facing up. We're going to lay our emulsion sheet flat on the table and then we're going to spritz it with a little bit of water. Okay. We're going to grab our wet screen out of the washout bin. All right. And we are going to lay it as flat and as straight as possible on our emulsion. All right, it should have stuck to the film, but you might notice there are some pockets and air bubbles. So we're gonna turn this over, we're gonna grab one of our squeegees, and we are going to gently, but also firmly, press our image, or excuse me, press our emulsion into the screen. We can flip the other side, and we want to wash off all the excess water 
nice and light. The last thing we're going to do is go over to our drying rack. We are going to put these screens into our drying rack with the emulsion side up. Gravity is going to bring the emulsion down and through our screen to get a nice bond. We're gonna put it in our drying rack. Turn the fan on. Make sure we turn the lights out after this step because again, this is light sensitive emulsion. So the rule is when you're not using this room, turn the lights off, keep the door closed. And in four to six hours, we are ready to expose our screen.